Okay, so hello and welcome class to our session for today. So this time we are going to have the following. In STAD, ano? STAD Pro tayo. So we have a load placement in trust models. And then define wind loading. And then uh, we generate the loads to the structures. And then assign support reactions. And then perform analysis. And perform still design. So as for our learning objectives, at the end of the session, you will be able to input loading on trust models and then define wind load parameters according to ASCE and then perform analysis on the trust models then perform still design on trust models. So let us first note what are the scope of the wind load definition so basically there are three first we have the windward the leeward and the sidewalls so if you could recall the windward is the surface that's, that is actually facing the direction of the wind and the effect of that is a pressure on that surface while the leeward is the other side of the surface that is facing the wind. So in short, that is the rear surface. Okay? And that leeward is actually generated by a uh, suction, suction pressure or basically that is a negative pressure. So when we say suction, it is actually uh, pulling your surface. And then the side walls, it is the walls parallel, okay, parallel to the wind direction. So in here, we do only have uh, two directions, it is on X and Z direction. So wala namang direction on Y, no? wherein there will be no uh, upward wind or... Uh, a downward burst of wind actually the wind is towards horizontal and uh, dissipated uh, to burst upwards okay so the scope shall cover on both x and z axis hence there is a windward along x leeward along x sidewalls along x and then uh, likewise for z we have the windward z leeward z and sidewall Z. What about the wind load case? So for the wind load case, by the way, the definition, whatever will be on the definition, that will be our basis on the load case. So when we say load case, this is the actual loadings that will be transmitted to the structural framing system or the truss so there will be two the windward for positive x and the windward for negative x so this is for the global x-axis so the global x-axis will ha be having uh, for each you know uh, meron chang windward x leeward x with a positive uh, factor then sidewall Z and sidewall Z with positive and negative one factor. That is for positive X. And for the negative X, yung windward chaka leeward X will have a negative factor one. And then sidewall Z and sidewall Z negative positive one. And as for windward, windward Z, by the way, dito sa X, ano yung sidewall ng X? Of course, the the perpendicular direction sa X. Yung perpendicular direction sa X is Z. So, uh, it is uh, imperative that the perpendicular axis for X is Z and that should be its 
side wall. And for Z naman, ang perpendicular, ang side wall naman ng Z is actually X. Okay? So, therefore, parang ganun din, uh, windward Z positive and windward negative Z, uh, each of those load case will have four, four definitions or four uh, load generations like uh, windward Z, leeward Z with positive one factor and then uh, two sidewall X with both positive and negative factor. Likewise for windward for negative Z. Okay, so actually this this should be wind load. Ano? Sorry. Sorry for the term. So this should be wind load for positive x wind load for negative x and then this is wind load for positive z and wind load for negative z okay so this is to correct that one so wind load for positive x so each of the load cases will be having windward leeward and side walls so the side walls consists of two two orientations say Positive and negative meaning that is suction, suction and the pressure on the side walls. Okay, so both for global X, we have positive and negative. So likewise for global Z, uh, there will be windward, leeward side walls, okay, with the corresponding factors. So take note, all of the side walls will be having both positive and negative factors. So, we should also note of the load combination, especially wherein our W will be the primary, lo primary load. So, W stands for the wind load. No? So, when, when W will be our uh, primary load, it could either be the combination of 90% of the dead load plus 100% of the wind load. So, if we intend to include... Um, the dead load, wind load, live load, as well as the roof load, LR, okay, roof load, or rainwater, or ice load. So, this will be the prevailing combination. So, in this case, we do not need to um, include rainwater or ice load here. So, maybe we can omit this ones and then concentrate with the dead load, wind load, and a live load so that will be your option actually okay so these are the two load combinations that include wind load to be the primary load okay so we have factor load of 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 roof load plus 100% of the live load or half of the wind load so that is uh, when roof load when your primary load is roof load when it is wind load naman ito so 1.2 dead load plus 100% of wind load plus 100% of live load so maybe we can just uh, neglect this or omit this portion or if there is no, uh, there will be no live load. So 90% ng dead load at 100% of that of the wind load. So those are the load combinations. According to NSCP and uh, this is actually adapted from um, ASCE. Okay. So basically, this will, this will be our local code to be followed. Okay, so papiawan lang natin ang, ang wind load. So wind loads, so the kinetic energy from the wind will, trans, will be converted to potential energy or, or pressure when it is um, bumped into the surface. And that will be the wind load for the structure. Okay, so there are actually five occupancy category. So first, we have the essential facilities, 
hazardous facilities, special occupancy structures, standard occupancy structures, and then the miscellaneous structures. So most of the time, what we adapt is the standard occupancy structures. No? So conservative is the one and two. No? Kung gusto mong conservative yung design mo, you choose hazardous facilities and essential facilities. But in essence of uh, econo economy or economical design, we may adapt uh, the more realistic occupancy of your structure. So we also need to recall here the uh, methods of uh, design in uh, wind loads. We have method 1, method 2, and method 3. The, the simplified procedure according to the code of ASCE. So this is low-rise building. This is an outgrowth of work done okay, for or by the metal building industry. And then the second method would be according also to ASC E7-075-705. Typically use procedure. Okay, so the typical na. And then the wind tunnel procedure. So we need to have a wind tunnel uh, equipment here. So anyway, method 2 will be our... Uh, adapted method for that uh, wind uh, analytical procedure so there are exposure categories so we need to also note of this exposure categories you know, because this is this is one of the inputs on the stat so we have exposure b c d because exposure a was already disregarded in ASCE uh, 7-02. So exposure B, it is urban and suburban areas, wooded areas, areas with many closely spaced obstructions. So marami siyang uh, katabing mga puno, uh, uh, forest area, or maybe uh, community, okay, or structures. And then exposure C, it is an open terrain with, with uh, yun, mas maluwang siya, with scatter obstructions like airports, areas that are generally flat, open country. And then exposure D, flat, unobstructed areas and water surfaces outside hurricane prone regions. This category includes smooth mud, flats, salt flats, and unbroken ice that extend 5,000 feet or 20 times the building height in the upwind direction. So, uh, we do not need to up, uh, apply or basically worry about this formula. So, I'll just have to reiterate here those factors like KZ, KZT. K, D, and V. Actually, those are already um, calculated as per ASCE 7-10 in STAAD. Okay, so in uh, other countries, they are using or adapting their own uh, provisions on wind load analysis and uh, calculations. But in here, this, this all, these are already available on uh, Stad Pro. Uh, Stad Pro will uh, take care of the calculation of the wind generation. Okay. So anyway, uh, meron tayong KD, KZ, KZT, and then the velocity. So of course, ang pinagkaiba lang ng ating code to that of the international code is that we do have a specific map in terms of the maximum velocity of the wind or the gust wind speed in kilometers per hour okay so if you could see here we are in uh, kalinga no uh, somewhere here it ranges from 280 to 300 kilometers per hour so wala nang 200 kilometers per hour before the the 
the NSCP that is that is uh, 2015 and below yun mga 200 pa lang yung kanyang uh, wind speed gas speed in uh, kilometers per hour so this time uh, climate change tayo lumakas yung hangin it ranges from 280 to 300 kilometers per hour in, here in our place in Kalinga no? of course uh, there are tables wherein we can obtain uh, the value of Kz no? so according to the height yan, ano? anyway yung sa stat again bahala na siyang magkocompute dyan as well as the KZT okay and then uh, topographic multipliers we do not need to worry on that because Taad will have to compute that what is important here that is that you know kung saan nang galing yung mga values okay so we also have here topographic factor okay so and directionality factor from tables of ASCE as well as NSCP. So here we also have QGCP and QH. Later on you can uh, you can set the value of G and CP. But uh, I think sa STAD we also have uh, defined the B and L as a basis for calculation of CP and the gas wind or G. So, no need to worry about that. Okay, so, so those are the, the things that we need to, to recall. No? So, let us now try to have a model here. Okay, so basically, perhaps you can uh, have a new one. Okay. And then, I'll just uh, set it as a uh, space uh, we can okay so let us have uh, a hands on to our stand proof so say this I'll just name this as, uh, wind windward windward x we add and then uh, next leeward x we add type 3 is uh, sidewall x we add that one and then for the fourth one this time it is the windward for z we add that one and then for the fifth type this would be leeward leeward for z we add that one and then uh, finally this is the side wall for z so okay so now that we have defined type 1 to 6 remember 1 2 3 is for x and 4 5 6 is for, is for z so the sequence is windward leeward and then side walls so from this we can highlight this one so that we can further define what is the type 1 loading and yan lalabas yang intensity versus height we do not need to manually compute it otherwise balik ka dun sa formula kanina that I have shown a while ago so we'll just calculate it as per ASCE 7 so, what will be our category? So, yung, ano, yung category natin kanina. Categories. Ito, standard tayo. Standard occupancy structures. So, it's category 4. And then, the basic wind speed is uh, 280 kilometers per hour. And then, what would be our exposure here? So, 
so perhaps um, counting obstruction say exposure C okay. exposure C and then building structure tayo no? so if we need to define uh, wind speed up over hills or escarpment we may want to click this one and set all of the parameters there no? so but this time I'll just um, assume that this does not include hills or escarpment okay And then from this common, we just uh, go to um, ilan to two hundred eighty. Exposure C. And apply okay so main building data so sa main building data with what will be will be my tot, uh, total height so perhaps you can check the total height so hindi na tayo makalabas dito close mo muna yan so from here we have 3.5 plus 2.5 6 so we go back to this six meters so we have here 280 category 4 exposure C building structure then we apply that one so the main building data this should be 6 meters and then the building length along the direction of the wind L ano yung, yung parallel sa truss that is around six, 16 meters yung naset ko kanina and then each of these will have 20 20 meters say this is partially enclosed then again we apply that and the building design pressure will be this one so this is the windward So this type is the windward along X. So we check this radio button here and then apply and then OK. So from this we add so we do not have any additional exposure here. So we just close that one. Okay. Then proceed to type 2. Add tayo ulit and then calculate. So category 4. Say that is 280 kilometers per hour. Exposure C. Then we apply this main building data this is the same kanina no? to 16 this is 6 this is 20 so partially enclosed okay then we apply this then building design pressure this time it is leeward. Okay. 
and then we apply that and then okay so add factor we just close this one next we add another force this time for side wall tayo no side wall category 4 to 80 kilometers per hour exposure C and then uh, we apply that main building data so all of this should be meters building height is 6 meters along uh, parallel to the truss is 15 meters tapos ito 20 partially enclosed then apply then building design pressure this time it is a sidewall x ok again we do not need to uh, interrupt or modify this one because automatic naman na, na input na natin yung L tsaka B which is 20 meter and 16 meters so no need to modify that so again apply and then ok and then add so we do the same for for leeward or windward leeward and side walls for Z 4, 5 and 6 so for type 4 so for type 4 we add that for then calculate we have here 280 pa rin yan category 4 kilometers per hour exposure C ok then we apply so all of this will be in meters this is 6 this is 16 and this is 20 we apply that and then building design pressure this is windward and apply then ok and then we add next so we add type 5 calculate category 4 280 280 kilometers per hour exposure C we apply main building data all of this again is in meters okay. we set the same now 6 16 and then this is 20 apply then this is leeward okay then apply ok add then we just close this one type 6 calculate as ASCE category 4 280 kilometers per hour exposure category C ok next apply meter lahat yan this is 6 meters direction of wind 15 normal so the direction is 20 20 meters ok then we apply building design pressure this time this is a sidewall 
line then ok then add just close that one okay so we have type 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so let us check this type 4 no? by the way this is uh, no, no, uh, windward for Z so yeah windward for Z category 4 to 80 kilometers per hour exposure C apply main building data so ang 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 dapat pala dito class if we have a long z naman a long z dapat balik rin mo ito the building length along the direction of the wind this time instead of 16 magiging 20 yan at magiging 16 naman yung isa. Okay? So, that will be the deviation or variation of this 4, 5, and 6 to that of the 1, 2, 3 types as defined kanina. Okay? So, instead of yan, 20 tsaka 60, kanina 16, 20 sa 1, 2, 3. Then, building design pressure, uh, this is type 4, so nasa windward pa lang tayo and then uh, just have this ok and then change close so that's it so this one uh, category 4 to 80 kilometers per hour exposure C apply that one then uh, ito this is 6 meters what's this um, 20 and then this is 16 ok we apply so this is a leeward then uh, apply ok change those and finally calculate that one category 4 to 80 kilometers per hour exposure C we apply for a while and then uh, this are all in meters so this is 6, this is 20, this is 16. Okay. okay. Apply. And then, this time this is um, sidewall. Then, uh, apply, okay, change, close. Okay, so we are done with the definition of leeward, windward, and sidewalls of X and global Z axis. So let us now proceed to your load cases details. So yung load case details number one was dead load. So this is dead load. Okay. And then we have live load say live load so reducible per UBC or IBC and then add then next is the wind load the wind load is wind of course Add. okay so we have here the primary load of uh, dead load live load and wind loads start first with the dead load ano? 
so of course we have a self width there and then we add and then we close so what about our our ceiling load the ceiling load supposedly will be transmitted to each of the joint of this um, what we call this truss or the bottom cord of the truss so I'll show you how to do manual computation of this okay so if we are going to take a look at the coverage of your of your truss parang rectangular yan no so this is the dimension of the rectangle 2.67 by 5 so the coverage is 2.67 by 5 okay so let us uh, compute that say we have 2.67 by 5 so this is the tributary area carried by your ceiling so if you have a ceiling load say ceiling dead load of uh, 0 0.24 Ceiling dead load of 0 0.24 kN per square meter. And then, uh, we just want to multiply this 0.24 by the tributary areas. Then we will be having 3.204. And then the half of it is 1.602. So, if we want to, yan, sa trust mo, okay, in our truss here we have this um, nodes magahati siya dun sa tributary area no? so dito sa dulo pag hinati mo yan it is just the half of the tributary area while this inner nodes will cover two half so dalawang half isang buo pa rin yun so if isang buong uh, tributary area that is why yung distribution ng loading mo for that is um, that one bali half lang dito at buo dito sa inner inner uh, nodes okay so, aside from, okay, so dito naiset ko na kasi yung loading, perhaps I'll just delete it again. So, from the dead load, you just have to add load items, say that is a joint load, where is the joint load? Nodal load of... How much? Negative 3.204 3.204 Then we add that one and the half of that is uh, negative 1.602 negative 1.602 then add Okay, so we close that one and then here we wanted to create new group ano for for the inner inner nodes actually i have created one so we highlight that one so those are the inner loads but uh, i'll just repeat the procedures for your for your for presentation ano so how to create again we create and then uh, this inner nodes inner nodes for example uh, and then set that as node and ok and then just select the nodes we wanted to view it this way 
okay so we can select it appropriately and then just select the nodes cursor here ano so nasan ba yung yung mga inner loads ito to mga inner nodes so how to select is first you you press control ano hold control and then select it um, dragging it on that uh, portion so that you can select all of the nodes along the longitudinal direction so if you want to check that one yan so if you want to deselect just hold control so ito lang naman yung kailangan mo no but it is your engineering judgment if you need to load also ceiling load along this gear direction but in the reality itong mga gear na to pinapatong din dyan yung mga ceiling joist and uh, uh, hangers ano? that is why dapat loaded din yan so for discussion I'll just consider the inner nodes of the trusses being transmitted for the ceiling load so we can now associate ok so nodes are already assigned on that and then at the same time we can select that one and then assign to selected nodes and assign ok how about this uh, half load to select mo lang yan press control hold control no hold control select that one ok hold control select that one and then uh, select this just check it first okay nakuha na ba lahat so nakuha na and then you can now assign assign to selected nodes assign yes okay so for live load ito i have added here a live load of 0 0.4 the same procedure i'm going to select the nodes where it's where the the pointed load are supposed to be loaded so and then for the wind load okay for the wind load so these are the loads generated according to what we have defined you know? but anyway i'll just uh, repeat the procedure for for our discussion okay Okay, so first we have created the uh, load cases details here. So load cases aside from ano no dead load chaka live load. Load case three say this is um wind wind. Uh, WL, sabi na lang natin, WL ng X. Okay. Wind load X. Then we add. Tapos WL ng negative X. Then we add. And then WL now positive z then we add then wl ng negative z then we add so global x and y with the positive and negative coordinates or directions okay so we start with wl x on this we highlight uh, that uh, load case details and add for the load items and the load items for that should be the wind load so this is the positive x direction ano? so remember type 1 type 1 is actually your windward okay so we have a packed factor of 1 then we just add that one and then uh, 2 factor of positive 1 along x add lang yan 
and then 3, 3 is the, the, the side wall. By the way, yung 2 kanina, ito, ito yung leeward, and the third is the side wall for x. And the side wall for x is actually z, you know? So, we will be having positive 1 and the factor of negative 1. We both add those ones. So, all in all, we have 4 load items for each of W loads for for those for uh, 3, 4, 5, 6 load case. So, similarly, ito WL along negative x, we add for the, the load items. So, that is a wind load. And then this time, we have x direction but uh, the factor should be negative 1. Okay, so first the windward add, the leeward is 2, add, and then the side walls, and the side wall of x is z. So that is, we have negative 1 and positive 1. Okay, so moving on to our... WL along Z, positive Z, we add again for the load item of that. So this time it is on the Z direction. So that is the fourth, diba? type 4 yon, Type 4 for the windward of Z. And then the factor is um, positive 1. Kasi positive Z pa lang tayo. Add tayo dyan. Then the fifth or the type 5 is the leeward for the Z direction positive 1 factor, add, and then type 6 is the side wall for Z, and the side wall for Z is actually X direction, we have positive 1, and uh, negative 1, so that's it, and then finally for WL, WL for Z we add, what's wind z then type 4 this time negative 1 tayo kasi negative z yun um, leeward negative 1 then side walls we, push, we switch to x direction negative 1 and the positive 1 Add. ok and then, uh, if you select the load loadings, you can see the orientation of those loadings. You know? okay. So, those are the orientation. And if you want, you can present the load values. Then, apply. Okay can see the load values now or you might want to turn that off okay so that's it so the next step is to of course let us define the combination for that where in the wind load is the primary load okay so go back to load case details and then add so we can use define or auto load combination if you if you want to generate loads but we are not so familiar with the table okay where in the table is uh, referring to the wind load as the primary load so what we do is to just define it okay so let us go back to what will be the load combination for that so basically the load combination here includes live load dead load and the wind load so dead load wind and live so sa gua 1 yung wind load tapos 1.2 yung dead load so that's the, that's the combination Yung dead load lang ang 1.2. So, go back to this. So, ito lang yung dapat 1.2. No? 1.2. At lahat na to 1. Hmm. 
then we add that one and close so that will be our combination okay and then we are done with that uh, loading no next is the material so if as you can see we have the default still here kasi kanina na set naman natin yung members ano so no problem with that so we are done through with the general tab here as the sequence of workflow next is analysis or print so analysis or print lalabas dyan yung uh, preprint command wherein we'll just have to add no print no dito add and then just close that and then prep uh, click this pre preprint ano preprint tab and then define commands problem statistics we we'll just have to add that and then we close it and then after which dito post print naman define commands we we'll just have to select all and then load list so load cases will be our load list here okay so meaning all of this will be considered in your analysis and then we simply add that one close so after that analysis ito na tayo sa design so the design natin dito tayo sa still design okay still design and then uh, define parameters so what should be our parameters here so first we set FYLD or the yield strength of steel we add that for a while next is the main so the main so design for slenderness um, we select a zero check for sl slenderness we add that one and then NSF or net section factor for tension members we just have to add that next is um, the, the truck um, you want to select the design output at minimum detail level or intermediate or maximum detail level so this time I'll just select here design out that minimum detail level so add just close that one so as you can see question mark pa lang yan because it was not uh, assigned right away so what you do is to select all of the members ano? and then proceed yeah, select all of the members then proceed with assigning that one assign to selected beams so nawala na yung kanyang uh, question mark sign and so next here is the commands so for the command we have to check the code and assign this and then uh, member take off sign select optimize sign and then take off assign close so the parameters we have those the code the yield strength the main nsf or net section factor the track or the the selection you wanted to have the the details and check code parameter code AIC still member takeoff code AIC select optimize then still take off so with that we can already analyze run analysis then run analysis then just save so just uh, click that yes
okay so as you can see here there will be seven warnings okay so what would be that seven warnings so you can actually check that seven warnings on this sta add output or sinabi niya dito there were more than 12 degree of freedom with zero stiffness and there are instability issues here you wanted to address okay so those are the results and then you can view view the results on the post processing and then just apply this then okay um, if you want to have the reactions just click the reactions yan yung reaction nya okay and then uh, each of those will have reactions ano? so kung gusto mong yarin siya okay yan you just click this one this this select text okay what else so say so if we click the instability here so there are instability issues here okay so minimal lang naman yun and then uh, what about the animation so if we have deflection we just apply that animation then apply ok so it will deflect that way anyway exaggerated yan. section displacement next uh, beam so for the beam of course ayan, yan yung mga mom, alimbawa, clinic mo to there will be still design there no? kasabi niya naman kung pass or fail ano? pass or fail and those are the design and these are the design properties so if you wanted to see the stresses ito click mo lang yan punta ka sa stresses so you can see here the stresses okay and uh, what else the graph so this is the moment diagram this is the actual force diagram or the actual force and then this is the shear shear diagram likewise dun din saan so while you are clicking this actually you can uh, select the envelope ang ibig sabihin ng envelope ito na yung pinakamataas or that will prevail among the combinations no so sa design envelope yan na yung pinakamataas na moment and this will be the shear and this will be the actual force anyway if you double click that one may still design dyan then sabi niya kung pass or fail likewise here still design pass naman lang but for 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 a fast view kung ano ba yung nag fail dito uh, I think we choose this select select and then by specification all failed beams so, so far, wala namang beams or steel design na bumagsak. So, anyway, pwede na yung design na to. Okay, so yung stability issues, I think um, it could be addressed on actual uh, construction. So, meaning, bantayan mo kung nasan yung uh, instabil instability issues na trust mo okay so what else do you need to see here failed members 
So far, wala ang members, ano? So, utility check ka dito. And the graphs. Okay. So, these are actually loads. Minimal lang yung yung share nya. No? Ito yung moment, zero. Kasi nga, trust yan. What about this? This. Ayan. Meron din siyang load, yung mga gear mo. Okay? So, if you double click that one, you already have the steel design. Pass naman yung lahat. So, no problem. So, if there is a failing member, you need to change the section and then uh, re re re, re analyze okay re analyze your model okay so that's that's about uh, trust design so you might want to explore the post processing tab here so again all of the results you need as well as the reports, the, the graph, the stresses, the forces are all set. So ngayon, if you want to set your report, just click the report and then just uh, uh, bring all of, all, all of your needed input available into this box. Okay? Then the output, kung gusto mong may node displacement, then just put it there. Kung lahat ay gusto mo, then click all of that, and then OK. So lahat yan, mapupunta dun sa report mo. OK. So if you can see, so those are node displacements according to the load combinations uh, and the load generations okay so that's it for for our topic for today and i hope you have appreciated uh, this one because this could be useful in your future design later on so this uh, just explore that and thank you for listening